What's going on, boys? Back with another video. We're doing some BFB boost only. Let's get it. All right, here we go. We have AFK Arena as our first opponent of the vid. Good luck. Have fun, my guy. I don't know what I'm going to bring here for a loadout. Let's see. If we have Riverside, I'll probably... I mean, I could go boat. I kind of want to go boat. Do I bring boat here, or do I do something interesting? Nah, let's skip it. Let's skip it. Moon landing? All right. So we're gonna play aggressive with attack. The attack is just so good on this game. Or on this map, excuse me. He's a pretty solid player. He ain't too bad. Experienced player. Toss him a good luck. And let's get into it. I don't really know what his name is talking about. AFK in Arena? Like what? What do you mean? Alright, let's ready up here. I think Wiz Tack is meta on this map, by the way. I really think it is. I think it beats Cobra. And I, I just don't think Cobra's that great on this map. I really don't. All right, we're gonna install right off the rip. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. We'll place down a farm here in a sec. He, why is he surprised? All right, Wiz Farm Tack is like the most common loadout on this map, I would say. And boost only, that is. All right, let's go for that. We'll send this. I'll send quite a bit, actually. Let's force some defense, and then I'm going to go straight for this. Let's see what he's rocking. And he might be going heli. He's definitely going heli. JK, he's going Wiz Village. Okay. So this our loadout perfectly counters Wiz Village because we just play aggressive, drain him early, so he doesn't have good farms to defend around 20 BFPs constantly. That's basically what we do here. So that's the plan. I'm going to keep going actually. This is the play. This is the play. We'll force a lightning immediately on round four and go from there. But yeah, he most likely has Wiz Village. That's why he's sad over there. So feels bad. You hate to see it, buddy. So we'll send that. If he sends me pinks, we're going to solo without getting up a Blade Trigger unless he max Qs forever. But yeah, we'll be fine against this. You can greed with this spot so well that um, you can afford to play super aggro. So not going to fall behind that much in farms because of the tack spots just unbelievably good on this map tack is by far by far the best early game tower in this on this map so we don't even need a blade shooter to fend off pinks for the most part so we're out farming and we're going to be able to out eco him as well um throughout this game which is awesome so yeah we leaked a f he's shocked by how good this tag troop spot is um, I don't know if we can get Blacks past that Wiz, but if I can get any lives on him, that'd be great. Because he's already leaked 84 lives, so it's not bad. He's sending me reds? Okay. Uh, but yeah, we might not get any lives on him this round, but next round for sure. Because round 7 AI is a lot. Uh, there's a lot more balloons in there. So we'll be able to get some lives on him. And if not, then it's fine. I'm still getting eco out of it, and I'm still out farming, so it's not even bad. Like, this, this isn't even a bad play. So he's spiking that, because he is leaking now. We're going to keep sending, and our attack will solo till round 10. I don't need defense till round 10. I just need to get up a whiz for lead detection, and then I go from there. Just fine. So we're going to send... He's going for a second whiz. We're going to send him... I could send him some region whites next round, but instead I'm going to save up for my farm. Because um, I think he's going to be... He's got a fireball already over there. I don't really think I can do that much damage to him unless I balloon boost um, a rush at him, but that's not even really worth it at this point. Let's just farm... Um, I'll rush him round nine, though. We'll rush him round nine. Just a small rush going into round nine right here. We'll do some pinks or yellows up the top just to uh, get some eco. And that might region pretty well. We'll see. I should be able to fit a farm here. Yep. A lot of people don't know you can fit three farms across the bottom there. It's easier on the right side than the left side, but yeah. All right, let's get ready to get up a whiz. Assuming he, he, no way you're greeting that. Look how greedy of a play that was by him. Like, he's just going to pay the, pay the price on round 11, so... Have fun round 11. Um, if we get a boost out of him, it's like GG. So I'm just going to balloon boost this. Yep. Okay. So I think that's GG anyways. I think he's dead. Either way, we just bait the boost on. No way he just leaked two lives. He might all out me on this next round. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for a big rush. It's pretty obvious that he's going to have uh, Wiz, Wiz Village here. So we're going to go for a big rush here. Fine sacrificing my farms here. He doesn't have his boost back. I think that's GG. We'll send them. Yeah, that's GG. So he definitely... Oh, we had ice. What the heck? Bro, he could have ice stalled and countered. Why would you not ice stall and counter, man? I mean, I still had two farms I could have sold and to get up defense, but GG's. 
You should have ice stopping countered. I was not expecting Wiz Ice, in all honesty. Uh, you don't really see that strategy recently at all in the past year or two. So, or not year. I guess I guess since since the ice got nerfed, but it's been pretty much irrelevant since glue is just such a better option more times than not. I think the shards got nerfed a little too hard. All right, we got turtle micro. Definitely watches my videos because I was the first person to um, dub the term turtle micro. So. <laughs> Good luck, my guy. We'll go with fun strat against this fellow. Unless it's Space Station. I, I like Space Station. Honestly, I like going Dart Wiz on this a lot more lately than going Cobra. Cobra's great, don't get me wrong, but if you're a good player, you can counter Cobra with Dart Wiz on this map. I've done it before against one of the best Cobra players, so it's possible. It's possible. Industrial Zone. Okay, this is great because I've wanted to try something. I think Eco is very undervalued on this map, so we're actually... We're gonna go this year, actually. The Brian Chez Cobra strat, but it only I can only go this strat on the left side because on the right side, the boomer spots suck. The boomer spots are terrible on the right side, but on the left side, they're really good. So we're gonna go, shoot. I need to get some Cobras first. He's gonna send the shock emote, three, two, one, shock emote. No shock emote, okay. Um, He's anti-stalling though, that's kind of an issue. There we go. I'm not going to send him anything because I want to get up a boomer here. Place that right there. See, this is a great boomer spot, actually. So there's no point in me sending him anything because I'm, I'm just going to leak a ton if I do that. So we're just going to burn our spikes because we'll just use them now. All right. And he's going to get up a farm here shortly. We can put this on first now since he's not rushing, by the way. Now, this is a pretty good boomer spot. Um, you're not going to be able to get a super high eco with this strat, but... It does outlast 99% of the strats people will go on this map. Unless people go boat boomer and have super godlike micro, you'll have a late game advantage more times than not. So it's a solid strat in my opinion. Um, we're just gonna be eco in here. He's not sending me anything if he does send me anything. Maybe he'd be smart if he sent a ton of group blues because it would actually do quite a bit of damage, but, and I don't have much money saved up to really do anything against that, so. We're going to eco hard till round six if he plays passive. Actually, probably until mid round five because I want to get up more Cobras for blacks and stuff. Black loons and all that good jazz. So I can't tell if he has a plantation or not up there. I I would assume he doesn't quite yet. I guess he's get up. He's going to get it up here shortly. Probably 142 game time. Well, I don't know. I can't see it. Maybe he's not. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop ecoing here because I need to get ready for round six. I didn't get that third one up in time. Um, so, yep, here's the rush. So, now we're going to have to sell this, and one eco boost will get up a uh, bionic. We can put this on first now, just because we're going to get... Oh, my gosh, we're going to leak fat. Way too many leaks there. The, that boomer spot's just bad on first. That's the thing. That's why we suffered so much there. All right, so now we're just going to space eco. We're going to get the Cobra gang rolling and go from there. I don't like our live count at all. I really don't, but okay, he has a plantation now for sure. He didn't get that up till fairly recently though, I'd, I'd imagine. Now, we're gonna be $2 short of this, $1 short actually. Okay. Um, is it worth baiting a boost here? If he goes for a farm, I'll bait it, but other than that, yeah, I'm not, we're gonna bait, quick boost here. He's gonna boost that, three, two, one boost. Just boost, bro. Just boost that or else you're gonna die, man. He's getting greedy with his boosts. He's getting greedy with his boosts. He's getting greedy with his boosts, man. All right. So now we're good. Um, we don't really need a factory till around 11, so we're good there. It's a pretty solid bionic spot. I'll put it out first for now. All right, that's all I'm going to do. That's all we're going to do for Cobras. 450 eco, not too shabby. Send this. We'll get up this right over, right over here. Does he have Sniper? No, he has Depleted. Okay. So we're going to upgrade this fella. I'm going to put the bio on Strong for now, actually. And now we're going to start to upgrade this. Okay. I think now the play is to just get Cobras up. He's sending... Is he going for a Camo Rush? If he does, I'm just going to go for the 2-2 here. I don't know what he's sending. Uh, we're just going to boost that, actually. I have to turbo that, or else we die. 
Eh, we die anyways, awesome. And let's get it, boys. Here we go. We're doing playing Edgar here. I might go something interesting here. How about what do I want to go here? Let's let's try Ninja Angie here. I, I'm assuming he's gonna go DFA, and I want to see how we fare up with our Ninja Angie here. So let's see if he's actually gonna be going Dart. Can you not fit an Angie here? That's unfortunate. He's probably going Dart though. He's probably going Dart. Let's just go ahead and spike the... Actually, I'm going to save my spikes. I ain't no... I ain't no beast, bruh. All right, so let's get up our farm down here. We'll get up a farmer. We don't have to worry about getting eco-choke, so I can place my farmer safely here. We'll go for our farm there. He's going to be spiking here. He's probably got dart, right? Probably. I'd say that's a pretty logical assumption here. There's the dart monkey. Okay, I'm going to get my NG. We'll place her right there. He's going to thumbs down me or something, probably. No, nothing. Okay. Edgar's silent over there. Edgar just, Edgar's doing Edgar things over there. So we're just going to go ahead and rush Edgar here and see how he handles this. I think I've played Edgar a few times. Unless there's multiple Edgars, IGNs. I don't know. Could be. We'll put this up on last right there. Solid spot. And I'll have to get up a 0, zero NG for round four as well. Placement of that fella. I don't know where it will be quite yet. Probably on that left like owl eye. I don't know what you call these things. Suns, I guess. They're technically suns, it looks like. Why am I ecoing so hard right now? I'm just kind of talking and doing my bang right now. All right, I'll get this up if he... Yeah, we're going to get that up right now. He's playing super aggro. Super aggro, man. We'll put that on close, maybe? I don't like that. Okay, we leak and leak in chat. We leak and leak in. And we're going to spike that. Because I really want to get my farm up here. Never mind, missing out on a banana feels bad. In game, in game. All right. We'll get this up. Bang, bang. Like, the Stratus plays super passive early game. I don't know why I was playing so aggro. Like, I shouldn't have 300 eco, man. What am I doing? Uh, we're going to get this up for round six if he rushes. Or I greed quick. Thoughts? Do I greed this? Nope, not greed that. We'll get this up on last. All right. That's a good spot for an NG for sure. Well, for sure. We'll get this up. And I'm going to need to get up one more NG. We'll get that fella right there. Oh my gosh! Asian leak station. This map's kind of trash with for NG placements in terms of straight line projectiles. Like it's no offside at all or dread balloon, but it'll have to do. So I'll probably get this up to nine inch nails if he rushes next round. Our farms are similar. Our ecos are probably similar, honestly. He's going for more defense. I want to get up two plantations before round nine or eight. Okay. Didn't get it done, but recording? Nice. We'll get that up. Okay. So he's probably going to balloon boost yellows or something happening here. If that's the case, we go for a nine inch up here. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. I'll probably just get up my set. This is going to be our balloon trap right here. Like, uh, actually, let me think here. I think we want it kind of over here. Thoughts? Yeah, we're going to go right here. And we'll get this guy flowing. We'll set, he went straight for the juggy. Okay, can I even afford a balloon trap right now? I don't believe so. He's each self for 320, right? So 1,000, 16, 40. So we need 21, 60. Okay, we can afford it. Easy. Got the balloony, trappy, gang gang. We'll keep on farming. And the balloon trap's gonna net us a lot of money here. So that's awesome. Love to see it. If he wants to go for a sneaky rush, we have a ninja down on boost. We get up a jitsu, defends everything, pretty much. As long as I'm collecting my, from my balloon trap, we'll be good. So let's go ahead and go for a little uh, little defense bait right here. See how she does. He's going straight for spolt. If we go, oh, we forced two spolts by sending him two rainbows. Let's go, baby. Okay, he sold it. He's like, what am I doing, mate? So now we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. I, I'm probably going to save up for a Republic here, actually. Republics are more cost efficient than going for either another 1-0 farm or a plantation, obviously. So we're going to do that right about now. Boom. Republic. Equivalent of five, four and a half plantations right now. So let's collect that. He's sending regular yellows. What are you doing? What did I just witness, man? I don't know what that play was, but we're going to go straight for another cleansing foam. I'm not taking any risks here. And we are going to balloon boost this. And he's probably just going to panic boost here, I would imagine. He might have to boost regardless. 
Yeah, you probably had to boost that anyways. All right, we're going to spike that. Edgar, it had to burn a boost. You hate to see it. Now we're going to get a bunch of money from our Bloom Trap here. Just want to sell these sentries. They're irrelevant. Uh, if he sends a Moab with Bloom Boost of Camo Leads over the top, it's going to be pretty effective. No way you just went for that, Edgar. Edgar, you are dead to a Bloom Boosted Moab. I'm sorry, but you are dead to a Bloom Boosted Moab. There's no way. There's no way, Mr. Edgar. I'm sorry. There's just no way. So I think this is going to be GG. See you. Bloom Boost that. I think this is going to be GG. Prove me wrong, Edgar. Prove me wrong that this isn't going to be GG. Prove me wrong, Edgar. Oh, GG's anyways. Tough, tough, tough game for Edgar. GG's though, GG's. Valiant effort. Just got too greedy going for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, just wasn't the play. Okay. <laughs> All right, lads, we got Ryan Maholic. Good luck, buddy. Uh, offside, okay, okay. Good luck. I didn't mean to say, all right, I'm gonna say good luck. All right. What do we want to go here? Um, he's gonna skip it actually. He's skipping one of the best maps in the game for ice flow, man. Miss me with that. Hell nah. All right, pimp. Bro, unlucky. All right. I really like going super on this map, dude. But instead, I'm gonna bring quite the interesting loadout. I think I want to go this. Uh, or I could go basic and go bomb mortar, but that gets boring. How about... Actually, let's try something. Let's try something. I'm going to try something. This could go horribly wrong, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Good luck, Mr. Ryan. He's going to go DFA. So that's inevitable, but... Let's get these up, both on strong. He's sad even though DFA counters Cobra is so easy on this map because the spolt spots are absolutely the best in the game. Unless he's going like Dartling. If he's going Dartling, that's tough. <laughs> Feels bad, bro. But I don't think he's going Dartling, so I'd be surprised. He's gonna be going Dart, 100%. Right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I over eco here, but it's fine, don't care. If I had bomb, I would be able to afford my bomb here in a sec, but. Oh, we're gonna. Leave. I'm just gonna sell. Nah, I don't care, bro. I'm tanking leaks like a champ. All right, there we go. Didn't even leak that much, so it's fine. Mortar, do your job. Hit those red balloons. You choke. Ah, uh, we need to train our mortar, bro. He's slacking in the weight room, I guess. All right. Let's get this guy going. We'll put him right on the circle right there. These are both on strong. Nice, nice, nice. He's going straight for a spall, which is actually the play. Many people make this makes make the mistake of going for two trip darts. Going for a spolt here is 100 percent the play because this spolt spot's unbeatable. It's so freaking good. So yeah. Oh, actually, if he's going dart farm super, that would be great for us as well. That'd be super good for us. So we won't be able to utilize the ODS. But the jug spots are so good. He should be able to counter my adjustment. But I, I'm low key thinking we can have him have terrible farms late game and just win it late game. Low key though. Because ninja mortar is not to be slept on. Late game potential is unbelievable. Because that permastall is going to be so vital, bro. So important. All right, I'm going to need to get up a burning stuff here very, very quickly. I'm going to send him some blocks so we can get that up. We'll get the burning right there. Come on, catch all those balloons, por favor. Uh, looks like I need to get up some more of these. That's what we're going to do. Now we'll handle that, but... I don't really know how much eco I'm going to go for this game. I, I, I always just wing it, dude. <laughs> like, do I want to play aggressive adjustment? Could, but I don't really need to. I might just adjust round 18, but by then he's going to have a BIA, so it'd be pointless. So we, we kind of need to counter the BIA. And I think we can do that. I just don't know how I'm going to go about doing that. We're, we're just going to kind of play in the moment and just see how she feels, I guess. Go for it. Is he going to send region whites? Doesn't look like it. So we're just going to eco on. He's farming so well. That's that. That spolt spot's so good, man. So yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this game, but I'm going to do my damn best to do it. The effort's going to be there. Don't worry, boys. Let me get increased accuracy there. 
Um, and we're gonna go pretty, but Ninja Mortar can't, don't sleep on it, boys, don't sleep on it. So I might just play this like an eco player with a little bit of uh, help from our Cobra farm, I guess. That might be my move. I kind of want to play it like that. All right, we need bigger blast because these balloons are getting really annoying. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna mortar micro if he goes for if he goes for an all out round thirteen, we lose. I, I'm sorry, but we're not gonna win. There's just no way. I'm gonna go for a second mortar here, which is gonna spook him because he's gonna be like, uh oh, he ain't got bomb. Actually, if I get up a big balloon buster and boost, maybe we defend. Okay. So we're going to sell this, get up the big Bloom Buster. Now we just Mortar Micro on that defense. So I'm just going to go back to Ekling. This defends. This defends, man. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. This defends. Okay, this is terrible, boys. Very, very, very bad situation for us. All right, if, if you all out, we have to Sabo and Counter. Can, can we even afford a Sabo? Doubtful. All right, well, that works. We're... S oh, shit. Okay, I was expecting an all-out, not balloon-boosted camo pinks. <laughs> okay, well, we're somehow in this game, believe it or not. That honestly might have helped us. That honestly might have helped us. We got him to go for a huge rush, so his farms are shambles. Uh, we're going to balloon-boost this, Adam, by the way. Let's going to force another jug. Or death. GG's. All right, there's a second boost or first boost? Not sure. First, I believe. Dumbest play. Dumbest play you can make. Dumbest play you can make. Dumbest play you can make. Reasoning. Reasoning. Right here. There's the reasoning. That's all you need. That's the reasoning. And he ain't defending that. <laughs> bloom boost, bloom boost, boost. Oh, I didn't get my bloom boost off in time. But yeah, he ain't defending that. Uh, I'm going to go straight for a Jitsu now. You're not defending. You have to sell sell your BIA, man. Sell your BIA, bro. You're too greedy, man. People greed too hard. It pisses me off. I call this death a minute before that happened. GG's, though. GG's. GG's. Happens to the best of us, my guy.